Thought you'd never seen that before. I was making out with my ASI Air Plus. I am now a believer. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna just share some initial information about my experience last night with the ASI Air Plus. I wanna make uh, one correction in the prior video on uh, the update video I did where I mentioned ASI Air Plus. Uh, I'd like to thank the viewers for correcting me that you can run a dew heater off your ASI Air Plus. Um, I'm going to need to run two dew heaters off of here, so I'll have to figure that out. And then uh, also, how can I control the temperature of the dew heater? So I will figure that out, but uh, um, I appreciate the comments. Uh, I apologize to anyone where I, uh, um, because of my misstatement about uh, being able to run the dew heaters. Um, Two more things I want to say up front. One, um, I was blown away by how little uh, energy it uses. Um, when I was imaging last night, I was using 15 watts off of my Jackery 240, Explorer 240 uh, power station. Uh, I don't know how many watts I was using when I was uh, doing a go-to. Um, and returning to home and stuff like that, but on a steady state where I was doing ima imaging, taking, uh, I think I was doing uh, 300 second uh, images, um, it, the whole setup was only drawing 15 watts, and um, that's, in my mind, really good compared to when I'm uh, running my uh, Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance and my uh, U-Link B59, um, mini computer uh, so uh, that was a big plus and the other thing I want to mention on the front end is plate solving uh, great experience with plate solving and you know I didn't really know what I was doing I just decided to come out here last night I velcroed the um, the box to the side of my uh, Skywatcher HEQ5 mount and I didn't open up a manual or anything I loaded an app on my smartphone, on my uh, Android, and then also one on my Samsung 8-inch tablet, and I just started poking around. And uh, I like to do that uh, to see how intuitive uh, the operating system is, and uh, I really want to give a thumbs up. Um, I'm not ready to recommend the ASI Air Plus because I, I've never, I don't think I've ever done a recommendation and I don't know whether I want to go down that road. Uh, the closest I would come to maybe making a statement is if you're all ASI, um, why not? Uh, so, you know, that, you know, why not? Uh, so there's a lot more I need to do with the ASI Air Plus. Uh, and learn about it, doing mosaics. Um, pretty easy to get dithering going. Now, um, I think part of what helped me with uh, the ASI Air Plus and understand uh, how to use it, uh, you know, I, I already have a year and a half uh, working uh, with guiding cameras and main cameras and those type of things, so I had a general idea where you had to go for different things to change different settings like setting up dithering and all that. Uh, but I, I really think if you were brand new to uh, astronomical imaging, um, you could very quickly get up to speed with the ASI Air Plus. So, um, you know, I just wanted to uh, share my uh, initial thoughts on the first night. I was out here from about 8 to 10.30. Um, I took some, uh, I set up a run just looking at the uh, Heart Nebula with my ASI 533 MC Pro. Um, and I just set it up for 20 exposures at 300 seconds, I think, just to see what that, uh, what that all looked like. Uh, Autofocusing, uh, really cool. Uh, I had to uh, do a, uh, when I first took an image using the uh, ASI uh, Air Pro. I think I, I did a, like a 15 second exposure and I could see my stars were kind of big. And uh, so when I went into the focus section, I just did a manual focus uh, to bring those stars in tight. 
and then I launched Autofocus, and it did a really good job there. Um, but I must say, the uh, plate solving looks really good uh, so far. Um, and uh, the object database uh, looks really uh, comprehensive. Uh, you know, I was doing uh, IC um, 1805, and then I also did uh, what uh, uh, Andromeda Galaxy last night just to uh, uh, noodle around a little bit. Uh, any, uh, no gotchas yet. I mean, I, I need to uh, uh, use it some more, uh, but uh, so far, uh, I'm, I'm giving it a kiss. And I want to say thank you to all your, all my viewers out there that were uh, suggesting uh, that I take a look at this product uh, and uh, use it. And you know, now that I have this solution here where I need to drive my Xenostar 61 while I'm driving my um, Edge uh, HD8, uh, it, it's really a, a perfect fit, I think, for, uh, for this configuration here question in my mind right away was, is this something I would use with my Edge 8 HD? Um, it would let me uh, remove my B-Link U59 uh, mini computer. It would let me replace my Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance uh, and my Burl, uh, I think it's a IGNet uh, wireless router. Uh, and not only would I be able to remove those three devices, it's the power consumption that uh, to me is very important. Being a uh, person that does most of my imaging traveling to dark sites, uh, bringing power along is, uh, you know, is essential. And uh, the ability to reduce that um, power consumption uh, could be a significant plus. I think initially with my Edge HD, Eight, I'm going to work with my B-Link and my Pocket Power Box Advance and that, and um, I'm going to run with that for a while. I don't think I could get a ASI Air Plus right now anyway. I'd have to order it. It'd be on back order for a while and all that, but uh, I'm, I'm going to run, run it here on this rig, and then I will um, make some decisions down the road, maybe after first of the year. Is it something I want to incorporate into uh, my Edge? HD8 uh, configuration. Um, I'm using a filter drawer first time. No issue. Uh, pretty uh, straightforward. And um, oh, I wanted to say, you know, like I came out here on my uh, patio and I just plopped my um, mount down kind of where I thought would be uh, the area where Polaris might be. And in uh, just poking around, I, I did a plate solve while I was pointed to the area where I thought uh, uh, Polaris might be. And then I got some messages about having to do a one-star alignment and all that. And I just kind of, you know, didn't really know what I was doing or anything. And I just kind of answered some uh, prompts. Uh, and then I set a go-to to uh, the Heart Nebula. And... Um, it just went right there and solved and positioned to scope. So I don't even know if I really did a polar alignment last night. I'm not sure what happened, but I do know when I wanted to go to uh, the Heart Nebula, it was like right there. Plate solved, found it, centered it. It was right there. So, you know, uh, tonight maybe uh, it's supposed to be cloudy or maybe when I head down to Landers on uh, this coming Saturday, uh, I'll, I'll take a structured approach to how to bring the ASI air up, how to do the polar alignment, how to, you know, I'll, I'll be a little bit more structured, but just sitting down and poking and hoping last night, uh, it's a very intuitive piece of software. And, um, you know, again, I, you know, if you ask me, should you buy an ASI air plus, I'd probably say, why not? Now, I'd want to little, know a little bit more about your rig and, you know, is it all ASI Air and, and, and those type of questions. Uh, but uh, from what I'm seeing so far in trying to run two scopes in a night, uh, clearly the ASI Air, in my mind, is going to let me get this rig 
up and running quickly and then that'll free me up to focus on doing the collimation on my Edge HD and, and, uh, and that. So, but, uh, you know, so again, uh, I've got a lot that I have to do with the ASI Air Plus. I've got to put it through its paces. I kind of, I have to get a structured procedure uh, on how to operate it in a sense and really understand all the things that it can do. I, uh, using the ASI uh, 533 MC Pro with my Xenostar uh, Z61 Mod 2, I'm going to have to do mosaics. I understand it's pretty easy to do mosaics with the ASI Air Plus. So I, I, I really want to give it a good run for the money, and uh, I want to see um, uh, if there's any downsides for me in particular relative to this rig. But, uh, you know, if I was honest, um, I, you know, right away I started thinking, you know, uh, why am I using Nina? <laughs> now, don't shoot me, you Nina fans, but that was kind of my thought last night when I saw how intuitive. Now, there's some things like I don't like working on the smaller uh, screens, like uh, my Android Pixel 6 or uh, my Samsung tablet, uh, but I think it's something that I'll get used to. And... Um, and I think there's a way to connect uh, the ASI Air and manage it through a wireless network. I have Starlink. So there's a lot of different things I, I still have to figure out yet with it. But, um, you know, maybe I'll give it one more kiss, uh, you know, and, uh, and see uh, what the future looks like with the uh, ASI Air Plus. All right. Just wanted to give an update. You can run a dew heater with the ASI Air uh, Plus. Um, plate solving is, uh, seems really uh, good. Um, object database, robust. Um, and uh, one more thing I have to test, uh, since I'm a traveler, and uh, in particular at Landers, when I image, I need to move my uh, van some distance away from the pad so it'll be interesting to see just how much range I get with this uh, wireless uh, network on the ASI Air Plus. Uh, last night I walked into the house into my kitchen and everything I was able to maintain connectivity uh, through the uh, glass plate you know, plate glass uh, doors and everything and so um, and I think where I was in the house would be representative of where my van would be relative to where this would be set up on my cent, uh, cement pad at uh, Landers. So I'm thinking that the range is pretty good, but I'll do some tests and share that uh, in, in future videos. So again, uh, I don't see myself making any recommendation on the ASI Air Plus because that's not this type of channel. Um, but again, I'd say, hey, if you're thinking about it uh, and you have $299, why not? Uh, if you're all ASI, uh, why not? And if you're a beginner, uh, clearly it's something that you should consider uh, on the front end of your journey and incorporating it uh, into your uh, equipment. Uh, again, you need to be all ASI Air with it, uh, but I don't see any downsides there. The, uh, I have all ASI Air cameras. Um, they're great cameras and everything. So anyway, all right, I'm gone on a little bit too, uh, too much and uh, apologize for making out with the ASI Air uh, Plus in front of everyone. Uh, but uh, so the question is, will the love affair continue? And for some reason, I think it will. Will the love affair expand? Will this become a menage a trois by getting one of these for my Edge HD? I don't know. Um, that just may happen, and I save some power in the process. So stay tuned. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, next time you'll probably see something from me is down in uh, Landers this coming weekend. Uh, today is uh, the 19th of October, uh, a Wednesday. And wherever you may be in the world, clear skies. Other than that, see you next time.